Now we want to be able to register an attack when we do the uppercut. First, let me make sure that the uppercut is aligned. If I look at it from the scene view and look at it frame by frame, you want the, this arm to be right in the center because this is a 2.5D platformer. So that's not aligned correctly. Let me fix that first. I'm going to go into characters, animations, the uppercut. And I'm going to turn this maybe 25 degrees and see what it's like. Forgot to apply. Okay, so that's a little better, maybe 30 degrees might be better. Let me try again. I think that's a little better. Okay. Now I'm going to go to the states folder. And as usual, I'm going to create the uppercut scriptable object as an attack. So I'm going to name it player uppercut. And just like the lead jab, we need the collider name. I think it was called the right hand. Let me just make sure. Right hand, mix them or rig, right hand. So I'm going to copy paste this into one of the collider names for the uppercut. And it must collide. Max hits is just going to be one for now. We'll deal with the other variables later. For now, I'm just going to guess the start time and the end time. We'll figure this out later. And I'm going to go into the animator and add the uppercut register ability by creating a new slot and add the uppercut. Okay. One thing about the uppercut is that no matter which body part you hit, you want to launch the enemy into the air. So I'm going to go into the attack script and create the option for launching the enemy into the air. No matter where it hits, I'm just going to call it launch into air. Quite an obvious name. I'm going to press Control T and go into the death animation data because we want to be able to match that option where we're launching the enemy into the air. Launch into air. I'm just going to call it by the same name, the death animation data. And we want the same option in the attack info. So again, control T, go into attack info. And I'm going to create the new option, launch into air. And when we register the attack, where's the register part? We also want to register that new option, launch into air. Copy from the attack, launch into air. Just like all the other options. Now all I got to do is go into the death, no, the damage detector and figure out whether the attack launches the enemy into the air or not. Let me go down into the take damage function. Mm. And we want to take in the info from the attack info, not just the body part. So let me fix the function, go into the definition by pressing F12. And we want to take in the attack info as a parameter because we want to know whether the info contains data about the attack to figure out whether it's launching the enemy into the air or not. And if the info says launch the enemy into the air. We're going to do something about it specifically. Otherwise, we do our usual stuff. So 
So when the attack says launch the enemy into the air, we're looking for a specific death animation that matches that type of the animation. If the data has launch into air option, that's when we add it to the candidates. Add. Okay. So all we're doing here is figuring out which death animation that we should trigger based on whether the attack is an uppercut or some generic attack that is based on which body part it hits. Let me save all the code and go back to Unity. I'm going to go into the states folder, into the uppercut attack. And I'm going to check this box, launch into air. And if I click play, the jab should work fine, just like before. But if I make the uppercut, there should be an error message. Here. Because the code is specifically looking for a death animation that has launch into air option, but we don't have it. Now we're going to go find the death animation that matches the uppercut. Here I am at mixamo.com and I'm going to search for uppercut because I remember this animation. Okay, I only want the second part of this animation, but I'm going to download it first. Once you download it, I'm going to rename it Uppercut Death and put it into my Mixamo folder. And do the usual stuff. Rig, Humanoid, Configure, Sample T-Vine Pose, Apply, Done. Go to the animation, rename it, Death, oh, Uppercut Death. And remember, we don't want the entire animation. We only want it from here, I guess, all the way to the end. Original, original body mass. Except we want to turn it back 180 degrees. Apply. Okay, so this is what we have. Now I'm going to go into the death folder and create the death scriptable object. Call it uppercut death and check this box launch into air and the animator. We haven't created the animator yet. So let's create the animator. Again, name it uppercut death. And this uppercut death is going to have the animation that we just downloaded. Cut death. I think this is the right animator. Okay, let me go back to the death folder. And this uppercut death data will have the animator here. Let me just make sure that the animation is in the animator. Okay, looks good. I need to go to the resources folder and add the new data to the list. Uppercut death. Maybe I should automate this process a little more later on, but let's just move on for now. And if I click play and hit the enemy with the uppercut, let me see what happens. Okay. Looks like there's also a slight bug with the jump for the uppercut, but I'll fix that later. For now, I'm happy that the animation works. Let me see the animation again. Just want to make sure that the mechanic works. Okay. We also want to differentiate when the enemy is getting hit in the front versus when the enemy is getting hit in the back. We don't have that right now, 
but it's a lot of work so we'll do that later for now i think we've done enough for this video thanks for watching i'll see you guys soon